How to connect Shopify with Printify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how you can connect Shopify and Printify. So let's get into it. Now, Printify is an amazing platform that enables you to create customized merchandise at a reasonable price, and you can build any type of design without having to worry about suppliers and shipping and more. Using this formula on your Shopify store, where you are going to sell your products can be a great way for you to simplify your work. And instead of having to manually add your product, you can use a few different steps that I'm going to show you guys directly to import products from Printify to Shopify. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that you will need a Printify account. So simply head on over to Printify.com. Once you're on Printify.com, click on sign up on the top right and you can get started. You don't need to pay for anything. You can get started for free and you can input your email and password or just continue with your email address if you want. So I'm just going to continue with my Google account over here. And just like that, my account has been created. There are some basic details you can fill in like a store name, connecting your store and more. You'll be able to see currently I have a store added. So I'm going to click on manage my stores and I'm going to delete some of my pre-existing stores that I added to my Printify account to show you guys step by step how you can do it as well. So just click on delete over here if you accidentally add any other store like this. And we're going to be adding our new Shopify store over here instead. So to connect our Shopify store in a simple way, you can go into your Shopify homepage and once you're in your Shopify homepage, you can click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on the bottom left, click on apps and sales channels once more on the bottom left and then on the top right, open up the Shopify app store. In the Shopify app store, simply search for Printify over here and once you search for Printify over here, this will show up as the first plugin or integration. So you're going to click on this app over here, which is the Printify print on demand. Make sure the developer is also Printify and then click on install now. Now, once you have begun the installation process, you will see the authorization process. Just going to click on install application. And then once you do that, you're going to be able to see a Printify icon on the bottom left in your app section. You can pin this to your navigation to make it easier for you to access. Now, to connect your Printify store, simply use the same login details as you did with building your Printify shop. So whatever email or password you used, you want to use that. I used my Google account, so I'm going to be using my Google account over here as well to make sure that they are connected. And just like that, our account has been connected and now this has been added. Now, you can click on open full site just to create on the fuller site and then you can start importing your products to Shopify. I don't like to use it in the picture and picture mode, which is basically a mode where, you know, our Shopify store is open and within that the Printify store is open. It can be a little too much for the eye to capture. So I just like to open up Printify separately. And now if I go into Printify over here, you can see your Shopify store would be connected over here as well. So you guys can see this is our Shopify store. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start building our products with Printify. So what Printify allows you to do is that you can go into their catalog and they have a bunch of different types of products available. So if I go into their featured products, it includes these tote bags as well as this pillow, the decals, weekender bags, some other items as well, mugs, bikinis, as well as tank tops and caps. So let's say I go into the catalog, go into women's clothing. And let's say I want to take a look at t-shirts. There are multiple different types of t-shirts and they will have multiple different styles, cuts, necklines, and more. So you can take a look at whichever one you prefer. They have different prices. All of these sellers are vetted with Printify, so you don't have to worry about that. I think I'm going to continue with the unisex heavy cotton tee. And this is not super fitted, it's super basic. And I'm just going to click on that over here. And now it will show you where you're going to be able to insert your design. So this is going to be our design. And then after that, I'm going to click on start designing. Now, once I do that, you have a AI image generator, custom text, Shutterstock, Dropbox, Google Drive, Fiverr as well. And you have some print file requirements that you have to meet. Now I'm going to click on my device over here. 
and I'm going to upload something from my own device like this. And I'm just going to open this image up over here. And once I've added my image, you guys can see this is a really tiny image, but I can expand it as well. So once you've added your image, you can customize the appearance. So how you want it to appear. Now I'm going to resize this. I don't want it to be this big. So I'm just going to place our image right at the center of this particular T like this. So once I've placed my image, you guys can see it has a low resolution, but I am fine with that because this is just a sample product, but make sure that your actual design images are higher quality. Now you have the title image and mock-up views. You have the person one, person two, which ones you want to include. Let's say I want to add the first one and these particular views. So this is going to be our primary image. And then I want to include this image as well. So you can choose the images you want simply by clicking on add view. Let's say I also want to include this one over here. And then once I've done that, you can see over here you have the title image color white and then your product description so this is going to be the description that would be imported onto shopify as well so you want to make sure it is accurate to what your shopify store is formatted to so let's say i'm just going to add water painted print t now after that we have a basic description now what i like to do is that i'm going to remove like the top three lines because it is a personalized design this actually is for you not for your customers but you can remove the top three lines but the dotted line is just information about your product so you can leave that in. you don't have to remove that and you can add your own description about how gorgeous the t-shirt is, how people can style it, or anything of that sort. You can also add a size label in your description, but I'm not going to include that. Then you have tags that would be added, as well as shipping profile, and the colors, and the price. So you can click on all of these items, and then you will see that you have your shipping cost, production cost, and your profit margin. You can click on edit price over here, and let's say I want to price mine at... $50 like this. So I have begun publishing my product after I added my sizes and it's going to take a couple of seconds for the publishing to be completed. So it's uploading the images and you can even edit this later on, but we're going to wait for our product to be added to our Shopify store so we can view what it's going to look like as it is imported onto our Shopify store. Now you can see it has allow automated order routing. So you want to make sure that your order routing is enabled when you are setting up this particular type of setup because I don't want to manually have to send all of my Shopify orders to Printify and then do that all over. That can increase your work. I like to enable this type of order routing and this would be automatically one hours. So after automatically, maybe after 24 hours, this really depends whether or not you do order confirmation. Some brands like to do order confirmation, some don't. So if you don't, you can do automatically within one hour, send orders to production manually, send orders to production automatically. I would like to send this automatically and then click on save over here. Once you have changed your store settings, we can take a look if our product has been imported. So you guys can see our product has been imported. The vendor is going to show up as Printify. You have your sales channel added. And if it's missing any sales channel, you can include that as well. Now, once you do that, you can take a look at your product listing on Shopify as well. All of the listing settings as well. And you can build more categories or collections on Shopify. Now, let's click on the view icon just to preview what it looks like in store. So this is our in-store product that we have created or imported using Printify. In this way, you can also connect Printify to your Shopify store. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.